It's podcast day. It's podcast day. Welcome in, friends. Welcome in. I am beaming. I am Marceline. <laughs> Welcome to my corner of the YouTubes. You just witnessed me putting on for the very first time my finished and blocked twofer tank. And that's mainly what this video will be about. I was just too excited to cast it on and I knew I wanted to share it with you via the podcast. So um, I decided to record this little snippet knowing that I just got up and I guess just, I, I would say I'm not fully ready, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Sometimes you're just too excited. So I will be back with a probably better lit kind of full tank top reveal. Hi, me again. I'm back for a check-in after a try-on of the tank, and uh, it's gonna take me a little bit longer to get this episode out because I have some post-knitting modification to do. So here's the tank top. All nice and blocked. I'm especially proud of the hem, which has a slip stitch uh, edge from the pattern, but I did a tubular bind off, which it worked out exactly as I hoped. It kind of draws in at the bottom a little bit, and so where it sits on me, that little bit of uh, reduced, a little bit of negative ease works really well. What's not working so well is I did extend the length of the shoulder piece. I'm happy that the pattern included really good instruction on that, which I'll talk about a little later, but I think I overdid it because the top of the tank is knit flat. It's knit back and forth, and my gauge for that is much looser than in the body, which is knit in the round. So once I block this, this really stretched out some, so the armhole is pretty deep. I don't mind that so much because I actually wanted that as part of the v-neck. I wanted the v-neck to be deep and that is exactly where I, it falls where I want it to. But because the fabric is looser up top and the armhole is deep, I've got some gapping that happens right here in the underarm. And so instead of fitting nice and close, it kind of gaps out. So I need to take some time and fix that. Part of what's happening is there are these cast on stitches to when you're joining the body in the round, you cast on some new stitches. Those are pretty loose. There's not a lot of structure here. So what I'm considering is how do I draw in this armhole section a little bit more to tighten it up to the body, but you know, not disturb the structure of the rest of um, the underarm area. I have a couple ideas. One of them is I could do some crochet in here at a very tight gauge, which will just sort of draw in this area for a small gather. Another idea I have is that from the inside, I could do a bit of seaming of this fabric, almost like creating a dart, a small dart. So I'm gonna experiment, try a couple of different things, and then I'll come back and tell you what worked. Other than that, I love this so much. Back soon. Hello lovelies, I am out here in the yard again for another finished object photo shoot. So you've just seen some video of the different detail parts of my two for tank. 
and I wanted to address some of the fixes that I talked about for the underarm. Uh, and I'm gonna have to wrap this up quickly because I'm in a shady area of the yard and this is where the mosquitoes like to hang out. And I am all sorts of buffet offering for them right now. <laughs> um, so I was able to fix the underarm using some crochet as I hoped. And I really went low stress, not too much thinking. I knew what I wanted to do, which was to bring the underarm uh, together to kind of close the circumference. I was able to do that. I used a 3.25 millimeter crochet hook. Um, if I remember, I'll put the US size on screen. And I just basically crocheted a single crochet across the gap, which really was to secure those freshly casted on stitches that I talked about. And then I started closing the gap by doing, you know, crocheting two stitches together until I got kind of a smaller uh, area to work with. And then I just did a slip stitch across that edge to kind of flatten it out and it worked. I'm quite happy with it. There's not a lot of bunching. Um, the I really like how the, the bust line looks now that it's done. And um, I have neighbors right over there. And the overall fit is exactly what I would want. Uh, you saw me wearing it with a pair of kind of uh, what I would consider to be dress pants, dressier pants. And that's something that tells me, you know, this is a wardrobe item. This is not like... I'm going to a knitting event and so I wear a hand knit thing. This is more like just something that's in my closet as an option to wear, dress up or dress down. That's what I was going for. So I'm very happy about that. Um, 10 out of 10 would still highly recommend this pattern. So I'm gonna go back inside and talk a little bit more about why I love it so much. Okay, we are back inside. I have two nice juicy mosquito bites for my efforts outdoor filming. They will come find me no matter what. I'm really pleased with this. I keep saying that because I think this was a combination of joyful things using Soulful Stash Yarn um, from Skagit Woolen Works, my favorite mill, and finding a project that had some mindful pieces at the start and then mindless um, very meditative, smooth knitting toward the end, which came at a time where I could just knit in the round through work meetings and everything else, um, really helped my focus. And I also felt empowered the whole time to make this finish exactly the way I wanted. I couldn't ask for more than that from a pattern. The things that I would do differently next time, I think that's always helpful to reflect on. I added two inches to the shoulder straps because I wanted the deeper V-neck. Next time I would only do maybe a one inch adjustment, which would mean that I wouldn't then have to uh, worry about the armhole. I think that would have made for a perfect armhole and V-neck depth. I would maybe add some waist shaping and that would just remove a little bit of the extra fabric see if I can show you. It doesn't bother me to the point where I won't wear this, but you know, a bit of a tailored look in here and maybe even just doing some darts in the back would be another, another silhouette for this top. It's very possible I'll make this again. I'm really interested to see what it might be like in a drapier yarn, closer to what the pattern recommended, because this is Romney and Alpaca. It does have structure. It has a, a little bit of stretch. It's gonna have the durability that I want in terms of wear in the, um, like in the underarm area. I'm pretty confident that this will hold up fairly well. But a drapier fabric, maybe a cotton or a silk blend, would just give it a different look. So I'd be interested in trying a different yarn type. I made a lot of notes on the pattern, so I also feel confident that based on my measurements and this finished outcome, I would be able to duplicate the sizing and really trust the, the numbers, my numbers that I made notes about. Mm, other things I might do differently, let me think. 
that's all I can come up with at this time. I really feel like this has given me a lot. I really encourage you as you're considering especially garment choices to spend the time. I think this pattern taught me that even though it was a fairly quick project for me because of the nature of it, no sleeves, uh, you know, I did a somewhat cropped length with the top hip fit. It didn't take a lot of time to make, but it did allow me a lot of time to think about how I wanted it to look in the end. And so I'm really embracing that instead of rushing through just to have something to show you or to claim another finished object. Um, even the simple patterns, if you're up for it, can offer you some mindful making time. So I would happily answer any other questions you have. Um, I'm not sure how much information I gave you about my sizing. I essentially, I started with the large size, what's, what's listed as a large size in the pattern. And then I sized down with my stitch count. I modified it to size down to a medium two. So there's two medium sizes and I chose the second one because that fit the chest circumference that I wanted. Uh, what else? The length of the body, I went about a half inch shorter than recommended, and I also modified it to use a tubular bind off. Um, I think it just called for any, you know, like a standard bind off in the pattern, and that tubular bind off was part of the waist fitting the way that I wanted. So, this very kind of pulled in waist with some negative ease, I think, was helped along by using a tubular bind off that's very smooth, no flaring. That's what I was going for. Yeah, so hopefully I've answered most of the things you might be interested in. And if not, I would love that to be a reason for you to connect with me in the comments. I'll keep this one short. Just a nice project review. Two for Tank by Heidi K Designs is done. Happy to have been here to spend time with you. And I will look forward as always to seeing you again next time. Take care friends. Bye for now. Mwah.